Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a review of the Apple's latest Mac Mini. And trust me, this little powerhouse is packing some serious tech in a compact frame. First up, let's look, take a look at the box itself. Classic Apple packaging, simple, clean, and just enough to keep us intrigued. All right. Let's crack this album and see what's inside. And there it is, the Mac Mini itself. It's even smaller and sleeker in person. Holding it in your hands, it has that solid, minimalist design Apple is known for. Let's take a closer look from all angles. Looking at it from the top, you'll notice it's a ultra smooth aluminum finish with only the Apple logo gracing the center. Now, from the side, we've got a Thunderbolt USB-C, HDMI, Ethernet on one side. On another side, there are two USB-C and a 3.5 milliliter jack. They are ready for all your connections, from multiple monitors to high-speed data to audio. From the bottom, it's also a very clean design. One thing people have been talking about is the power button. Yes, it's quite uh, not so convenient to push the power button when it's uh, at the bottom. So there you have in the latest Mac Mini, sleeky, powerful, and very Apple design. I'm excited to dive deeper and see what it can really do. There are two things that I think make the new Mac Mini really shine. First, the CPU, the M4 chip. It's the most affordable way to own a M4 chip. This is Apple's latest custom silicon, and uh, it's hands down the most affordable way to experience the power of the M4. Let's compare it to some other product that had the M4 chips. So for example, if we go to the pricing page, we see that uh, currently it listed all the available device types. So the, the lowest entry level is uh, 599, which includes uh, 16 gigabytes of unified memory. So I think that's uh, kind of a lot compared to the previous entry point, which is 8 gigabytes. So that's 100% increase. Wow. Thank you, Apple. And uh, we see that 599, and you can get the latest M4 chip. You get uh, all the unified memory, get the storage. So on the other side, if we compare it to the MacBook, so which one, which include uh, the full package, include the, the mouse, keyboard, the monitor, and the entry is very, very similar. So if you compare them side by side, you see the CPU is ex exactly the same, M4. Memory is also the same. The only difference is uh, double size of the storage. But uh, if you look at the price, it's $1,600, right? So that's uh, more than double of the 600 I feel that uh, the Mac Mini can be a great way that if you want to save some bucks for yourself, right? So I think this one is obviously my go-to option. You may wondering how the M4 performs in benchmarking. So here it is. I'm doing a Geekbench benchmarking on the M4 chip. For the CPU, it took about uh, five minutes. Once the benchmarking completes, it automatically uploads the data to the browser. So it shows the results on your web browser. We see that the single core is 37, 41, and the multi core is 14,000. So I think that's quite nice. Once we are done with the CPU, let's take a look at our GPU. So 
So for the GPU, similarly, we go to the Geekbench, click uh, on the left panel, the GPU. We see we have one GPU, which is the Apple M4, 10 cores. So let's uh, see, we can click. Uh, there are two API. I think we can try the metal. Apple M4 ROM GPU. The GPU benchmarking took uh, less time than the CPU benchmarking. The result is uh, shown the, on the web browser. Score is 54,292, which I think uh, is a quite, quite a high score. So here are all the detailed uh, benchmarking results. Secondly, I think uh, the slim size of the Mac Mini can make a real difference. We all know that uh, the PC tower can be very, very big. So let's uh, do a quick uh, comparison. I have a spare GPU on the side, which is the Sony 80 NVIDIA GPU, and uh, we can compare the size, right? Yeah, I think that's the difference. So the whole Mac Mini is smaller than half of the GPU. So that can be a bigger difference, right? So basically you can carry it around every minute, every day, it's easy, right? On the other hand, if you are doing like a PC, well, you probably move it once a month or even once a year. So. I think that can be a really big difference if you want uh, something that's uh, more portable, but also quite uh, powerful. All right, to summarize, the new Mac Mini with Apple's M4 chip is uh, affordable and also compact. Whether you are a student, a creative, or just someone who wants a powerful computer, without taking up too much space. This little powerhouse might be exactly what you are looking for. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And subscribe for more information. I have uploaded many tutorials on AI, on AIGC. I'm continue to explore more about the Mac Mini. Stay tuned. See you in next one. Bye-bye.